Hello, McWarriors! How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. And I'm super excited today because I have patched to version 1.2 point something. And now we can actually take our battle armor, put him into a vehicle, get the vehicle to the front line, and then have the battle armor jump out of it and attack, uh, attach itself to an enemy mech and, and just rip it apart. I really want to test that out today. Also, we got our second, I know, it's, it's the second, because we have the Vulcan already, but the second Meteor Mech joins the ranks. We're gonna build a Hunchback today, and that's gonna be really interesting, because the Hunchback, the variant that we have here, is the Missile variant, and we have some heavy MRMs that we wanted to test. So, let's go with this guy, and, and make, it our, make it our little missile boat. It'll take a bit of time and money, and I also wanna probably max out the armor on that guy. Uh, but yeah, this is it. 25 days, 425,000. I would say we're gonna validate that right away. And then we're gonna take some tanks, we're gonna take some battle armor, and I wanna see how strong that is. So, let's go ahead and give me some time. Let me quickly check. Yeah, I will definitely put the Hunchback to the top of the order because I want that guy to be up and running. We have currently two mech base, so both of the first two will operate at the same time. And yeah, in four days we have the Vulcan up and running again, and then we're gonna work on the Hunchback and the Urban Mech Risk 3 simultaneously. So that's the idea. And we're gonna go with that directly. Alright, so we can also upgrade our Argo a little bit. And I think I want the beta parts. It's, uh, it's an investment, but it will also give us the training modules quickly, which gives us 50 experience a day compared to the 30 experience a day. Ah, oh, man, that would be so good. And it's a quite cheap investment into the training module, but I had to get the beta parts. I think I want to invest into my Mech Warrior's expertise more than anything else right now. Not going for the tech points early on, but instead going for Mech Warrior experience. Since this guy is also 1.5 mil. Ugh, that's a lot, man. That is so much money. You know what? I'll go to the store. I'm going to sell some stuff, and then we're going to have a good time. What is that rocket bolt on thing? Those things are actually quite good. Early on, you could just gonna blast some enemies with extra damage for free, basically. Doesn't generate any heat. Exchanger double plus. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, I'm always broke. But hey, that's the... Just the story of my in-game life. Here we go. We're gonna drop that LRM. Sure. We're gonna drop the Mars. We have some ER pulses. I mean, what we do? Do we need like 850,000? Something like that? Do want to keep these MMLs. Also a good option for the Hunchback. The Plasma Cannon, the PPC. PPC can go. Small Rex Laser, Small Laser. They are not worth anything, so I'm not going to bother with them. Is there anything good here? I would always take the Bloodhound over the Beagle Probe, so I'm going to drop Beagle. The C3 unit is also very heavy for what it does. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that thing. And... At this point, we should be fine with engineering getting those beta pods online. Here we go. Look at this, we even have 63,000 left. Now, let's go ahead and uh, do what we are supposed to do, which is getting some elementals on the board. Oh, let's say battle armor. Elementals are clan specific. So, here we go. Into the command center, we have a bunch of missions available. Capture base. Uh, destroy base. You know, I'm gonna play Operation Castle Doctrine. It's in the jungle, though. Let's play in the lowlands, so my tanks actually have some mobility. We are playing against Comstar. And I mean, I, I gotta test this. So, which is the, the worst tank that we have currently? I don't think we have bad tanks, per se, anymore. This bandit here really wants to get to the front line with all the small lasers, so I'm gonna attach some battle armor on that guy. And by the way, if you wonder if it can carry battle armor, it's all the way in the bottom of the tooltip, above the weapons, it says, can carry one battle armor squad. Therefore, it's gonna be this guy. Um, I think our Maxime is not as good as the bandit. So we're gonna drop this, and we're gonna take some good old-fashioned inner sphere standard battle armor with um, lasers and... Uh, and SRMs. That's what we have. Um, anyway, anyway, anyway. The commando actually has Juggernaut. I mean, that's pretty good. I love it. And we need somebody who is able to run battle armor. That would be, I guess, Eric. 
Eric, get in there. And we're gonna have some fun now. We can save lances now. Oh, that is so cool. So you have different drop loadouts that you can save. That is really cool. I didn't take the battle armor, did I? Wait, what? Oh, it's in the in the back. Never mind. I was like, wait, bandit? Bandit? Oracle? What is going on here? I thought I just put the battle armor in there, but yeah, it was at the very last spot. Read it to the end, Bara. Read it to the end. So, by the way, a little service announcement here uh, for all of you guys who are interested in my D&D stuff. Um, there will be an upload on my Instagram, Instagram pretty soon because tonight is game night and I don't know if you can see it. Can you? Can you see? No? Nah, it's probably not possible. Maybe like this, if I put some light down there. Give me a second. I'm so proud of it. But, no, there's nothing to be seen there. Ah, oh, it's too dark in here and full of terrors. But anyway, um, there is gonna be a cobalt cave that my players are gonna um, adventure to. Give me some light again. Uh, completely broke it. There we go. Alright. And um, yeah, this adventure will be uh, the, the conclusion of a one-shot that I'm playing currently. And these kobolds are, you know, nobody to mess with. They actually, that's the thing that I still need to, need to paint, I actually got their hands on a little hold little fortress and uh you know they have ballistas and stuff uh on top of everything else but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna post some pictures of all of this on my instagram if you want to check that out check out the description because all the social links are down there so here we go uh this is where my enemies are cool ish wait like they're right here in the wall okay fine we're gonna drop mm behind them I believe because I want to get unobstructed mobility see I want to put my battle armor in my hovercraft tank that thing will be slowed down by rough terrain so all the forests are gonna be bad for him um, but yeah the idea is to put Eric somewhere let's see Confirmed. Eric and the battle armor where is my bandit it's right next to us and I should be able to go active ability request hot drop what, what what's that? Careful maneuvers. First aid. Jump. Huh. What is this? Wasn't there something like I should be able to do something? Give me a second. Give me, give, me, give, me, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh it's gonna be Fang who's in the bandit, right? So we gotta wait until turn 17. Maybe it is the other way around. I was just reading up on it. I didn't really check it out yet. By the way, we are fighting a mongoose. I got you. All right, active abilities. West hot drop. That's not it. Um, passive? No. No, 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 no. What's that? Info. Huh. Hmm. What happens if I do that? Confirm. You have empty hot drop Q. Attack ground. Careful maneuvers. Hmm. I, I need to check this out. What happens if I do this now? In what? motion, Commander. Nothing happens. All right, we're gonna check out our battle armor again and try to get it on the freaking tank somehow. I don't know. Again, I have never played with it. There's a little bit of experimentation. If you have an idea, please leave a comment because I'd be very, very pleased to get some info on how this works. They're flanking. Yeah, good job there. All right. Um, yeah, Maki is gonna retaliate just like that. Here we go. Please attack. And the arrow is gonna come down on his face. Rafa. Oh, there's another guy in our backs. It's a striker. Interesting. I wonder if they have like legit reinforcements. I'm gonna wait for my turn. This is not gonna be an interesting one, so we're gonna not Standing do anything. By. Eric, again, let's try to do something like... I mean, I'm on this thing now, which is kind of bad, I believe. Hmm. No, I think this doesn't work. That's not what I want. How do how do I do it? Jump, sprint, move, passive abilities, offensive push. Mount freaking up. There it is. I want to mount up on this thing. 
Hello? Please? Can I do it? Can I mount up um, anything? So I gotta move. Mount up. Move. There. Maybe? Ah! I'm clicking the button, but it doesn't work. <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? Can I also please close this again? Give me a second. I'm gonna press escape a bunch of times. Escaper. It might have interfered with the hot drop situation. Select target. There we go. Yes? No? Please? I want to do it so badly. It's this button, right? Maybe it doesn't work, but these guys are elig uh, eligible, right? So... I don't know. Battle armor. Mount up! Nope. 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 Alright. In that case, let's go. Maybe next round, and I will... I will not shoot my short-range missiles yet. We should be able to legitimately swarm them with a new special attack type of thing. Fine. Okay. Light damage. Holding firm. All right. Maybe it's not Holding allowed in the first round of combat. Maybe that's the reason why. Um. Go ahead and shoot that, please. Three times. It's fine. Let's see how you like this. I don't really want to run into recoil. Next round, we will have better vision, so that's gonna be interesting. Waiting for orders. So, now that we have that clear, though, I do believe uh, we're gonna try next round again and we're gonna see what happens. I'm already there. Already there, perfect. Locking in all weapon systems. And that is a mongoose being attacked. Our friends are a Saladin, Savannah Master, a Chandra Advanced Scout Vehicle. Alright, and then something else. A Striker, got it. I actually do like that they bring a fire starter here, but I don't think I'm gonna pick light mechs at this point anymore. Although I really like fire starters early on. They are amazing mechs. They have all the hard points that you really want. And, um, you know, just, just put energy weapons in it. Or flamers or whatever. And have a good time with it. I love those. Striker. Oh. Striker is striking the striker. There we go. <laughs> nice. Okay. Next up. Oh, this thing came with SRMs. Yeah, SRM-4 machine guns and an ER small laser. The Pegasus, on the other hand, has lost his missiles. Some of them. Still, good enough to deal some damage. Waiting on you, Commander. Right. Next up is Rafer. Pedal to the metal. Oh yes, we will do this. Shoot the light enter air missiles as well as guided ammo. 69%, I love it. Affirmative. Wait a second, we got a crit on the mongoose, on the on the mongoose's There's engine even. That Does that mean he's running XL? Because if so, can I have it please? I have a medium mech that I want to fit outfit. Saladin. Oh here comes the big gun. Yeah, he's down. <laughs> he got arrowed to death. Uh, yeah, hmm, nice. What now? Great. I'm not entirely sure what to do here. Because I also want to... See, I want to finish the mission, but I also want to test my okay. ele elementals. Oh, my battle armor. Let's get the fire starter. Engaging. I also slowed down, by the way, uh, since I had to Reporting update and uh, reset some of my things. I was slowing down the whole movement of the game. Hmm... Maybe I couldn't mount up because we were on the same spot. So I'm gonna wait for the bandit. I'm gonna park it right next to the uh, battle armor and then we're gonna try again. Right? What can I do for you? What can you do for me? That's a good question, buddy. I think it. it is time team, to attack the striker in the back. At some point we have to deal with him. Might as well do it now. You know, tiny bits of damage. The Saladin, by the way, what was he running there? It's an Ultra 20. Got something you want Crazy. Alright, and, and just to make sure... I want to bring two Head bandits up. for two potential targets in. Whatever, fire. It's fine for me. Fine by me, even. If I drag out the fight a little bit. Since, Stand again, by. this is all for science. But this is too fun not to do it. Let's go. Six times. Fire starter. Be gone. 
We've had better rounds, but we hit a bunch of times. And we didn't jam. That's nice. Uh, melee attack against my commando. I'm not happy with that. Could you not? Oh, that's good. What are you running, scout, huh? Yeah, a bunch of small lasers. I thought so. Cool. So, still alive. What do you want? Yeah. And now, now we're going in and park our little, little tank, like right here. Moving. There we go. Abrace it. And next round, we're gonna use the battle armor, hopefully hopping onto our bandit that then carries us to the front line, to glory and victory. Let me see if that works. By the way, battle armor can not sprint anymore because of the whole, we're gonna attach ourselves to something and then have a good time there. Cruising. Next. That's the starter. Ooh, also going melee against my commando. What? But luckily, he's now unsteady. Ready to rock. Since that was a charge attack. Anyway, mount up. Select the target. I'm gonna select the bandit. I'm clicking it vigorously. Nothing happens. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Select target battle armor? Select the target. I parked my rides right next to us, but I cannot find a door. Oh no. Oh, this is, I don't know if it's broken or if I'm doing something wrong, but I guess, I'm disappointed now. I'm really disappointed. Select the target. Yeah, nothing's happening, really. Fine, fine, fine. Roger that, Commander. All right, we're gonna jump into the fight then. At this point, I'm just interested in, in finishing the mission. Let's go. It would also be very appreciated if the Saladin wouldn't hit me with his Ultra Out Auto Cannon 20. That's a lot of damage flying around. And the battlefield here is quite tight. That it? I guess it's coming. Wait a second! No, 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 no! I just realized something. I do believe that the battle armor do have the ability to mount enemy mechs and vehicles and tear them apart with their boarding claws. That might have been an offensive maneuver that we have checked out here. Right? Man, I need to really read up on that again. I thought it would be a bit more self-explanatory, but I guess it isn't. I'm gonna check it out again, too. Alright, anyway, we're gonna punch kick the Pegasus on the left side, which is here. Mm. Alright, we're gonna kick punch him from the front. Moving to position. Hoping that we hit the weak side already. That is not the weak side, but at the very least we can shoot now. Which... As a result, I think was pretty helpful. He's also super critical and panic. Next. Taking the fire starter is a very big goal right now. 50%. 43. I guess we're gonna shoot from here. Confirmed. Not moving that far. Eh. So, if I shoot like five times, I have no recoil. If I shoot six times, I lose a little bit of accuracy, but I think the sixth shot is definitely worth it. Let's go. Ah, uh, hell yeah. This fire starter is not gonna do anything anytime soon. That's great. I like my Vulcan. It's a solid one. Receiving you. Good. Oh, look. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna move over here. Hello! On my way. Oh, we're gonna shoot the striker, I guess. Let's do it. Nope, not the scout. Not the fire starter. No! I need the striker to I be gone as well. And somebody has to deal with him. Might as well take my long range dudes and just go for it. Uh, yep. Yep, yep. Uh, 79%. Here we go. Got it. Mm, he's getting more and more damage. 
still don't know what to do with these guys. So, now that I have the suspicion that mount up doesn't mean mount up on a vehicle, on a friendly vehicle, but instead on an enemy... Maybe I should look for anything else that gives me the opportunity to get on my own vehicles. What do you want? So, in order to check that... I mean, I could attack this here. But I could also do a little bit more experimentation. Uh, let's go in again. Parking. Right here. Careful maneuvers. Attack ground. No. Attack own guy. No. That doesn't work. I cannot pick them up, I guess. Alright, we're gonna brace. And turn 11 is gonna be where my power armor activates. So let's see if we can do anything there. Okay, wanna check the Saladin. It's turn 7. The fire starter is turn 9, so he will have the chance to stand up again before the Ultra 20 shoots. Which is good for him. Alright, Eric. So what happens? Nothing happens. You got focus fire, which is nice, but... I'm gonna move here? No? Doesn't work? Mount up again. Pressing tab as selecting my target? That doesn't work either. So, I've selected a target. Wait a second. Do I have to confirm something? What are these little buttons down there? What's, what's this? Select target. Again, pressing tab usually selects a target, but it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, I give up. I give up completely. So, into the fray. Into the fray. Here we go. Woo! Let's do it. Maybe we can panic him out by shooting his Santa Torso. Here we go. Ah, you got AMS. But anyway, we hit you. Okay. Friendlies. Being friendly. Um, also, the Pegasus is now locked in for some weird reason. Oh my god, I can't do anything. I really hope it changes when it's my turn again, so my mechs are up here. But right now, I cannot target. Yo, you guys have got to go for the fire starter, you know that, right? I appreciate the damage against the Pegasus, but this guy is about to stand up again. Prevent that. Please. Do it now. Nope. That's not how you do it. So he will, in fact, get another turn. Hmm. Alright. Cool. I mean, it is not really that we are endangered of getting destroyed here. I think this is actually a quite easy salvage run. I guess this is running and smoking big time. Still getting some armor points of damage on my commando. Next, the Saladin. Oh boy, now it's getting interesting. Yeah, that's now basically just... Yeah, a leg, a center torso, or let's say half of a center torso and the cockpit. Uh, I'm gonna finish this now. This is... Uh, it's getting ridiculous. Let's go. Going for left side attack, kick, perfect. And we're gonna shoot afterwards. That's gonna be a kill. Unless we miss. Ah. One now. No retreat. We got him. Hope we can salvage that. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. Rock five or a melee attack? I think I'm gonna opt for my rockety rack. We can shoot the what can we shoot? We definitely want direct line of sight. Actually, the melee attack might be the better choice. Our Ruck has a horrible hit chance now. Period. We're gonna kick him from behind. And I still shoot six times. Here we go. That's that's it. Affirmative. I don't think that the game is gonna go another round, so ah. let's go all in. Ooh, a miss. Damn it. Anyway. 
Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. The laser's hit. The rock completely <laughs> going wide. Perfect. On you, okay, 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 okay. Um, yeah, whatever. Let's go ahead and shoot the striker a little bit more. Whatever we have. What do you want? And we finally bring in the bandit. Let's roll. Alpha strike engaged. Mm-hmm. Still there. And 14. By the way, Salad in turn 10. Uh oh. Here comes the Savannah Master. Doing exactly nothing. Yeah, it has two small lasers. It's a light, to like a five ton tank. Yes, Commander. It has nothing at all. Nothing. Right side seems very damaged. So we're gonna take that as our, Position um, how to say it, vector of attack, I guess. Fire. All weapons are go. Nah, this is still not enough. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what the Oscar is doing. With a bit of luck, he's actually coming closer, so I might be able to mount him and go in with the battle armor and tear him apart. Funny thing is, as far as I have read it, when you mount something, there's a one-third uh, of a chance that any weapon attack targeted at the mech will hit your battle armor instead. So when your little guys are clinging onto that thing, they are basically extra armor for the mech. However, you can take them, you can take your time and uh, keep them there for multiple turns. Dealing more damage over time against them. That's the idea. He's almost down. Now the turn of the striker. But it also means that death from above is not an option anymore. Because that was kind of like the workaround for the whole, we mount on top of something and try to destroy it. Right. What are your orders, Skipper? Eric, mount up. Select target. Yes, no, maybe. Not really. Um. Who? I'll go vigilance here. Can I death from above this guy still? No, I don't think so. Um. I will still jump right next to him. Ten, four. Hello. I will offensive push this guy. And, because now I have death from above initiated. There it is again. Alright, there we go. I don't intend to hit. It is all about pushing him back in initiative next round. Because now I'm standing right next to him. Let's see. Let's see if we can do something. Next round. Uh, okay. Get some info. Oh, Eric. Confirmed. That is a lot of initiative. Let's go ahead and mount up. 61%. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now I can actually do it. Select target. Click. There it is. Right. Confirm. 61%. We did it! We're on him! What, what happens now? I have no idea! Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna reserve and give the Oscar scout a turn. Maybe something happens on his turn now. Oh! Come on! Battle armor! Do your thing! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. No? No, we didn't! No, we just entered his space. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, we're we gonna try that again. Ah, oh, come on, guys, we're here for the for the science today, right? So, I will what not do, do anything. I'm gonna spice that thing. Whatever. Boop. Got a lock. Maybe I shouldn't spice that thing, because now my friendlies have a higher chance on destroying the scout. Ah, oh, but anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah, Eckbert, please do me the favor. Of going into the front of the striker and take him down because that thing can go. I said, and go. Hmm. 
Mm hmm. Good news is there's more where that came from. We still have some mechs to activate. Uh, turn 11. He's actually going to get another turn. That's so ridiculous. So I have the feeling that we didn't mount up. That we entered the space and then... It was gone. Like, we missed. Literally. Yes, Commander. Hello. We'll go. I is Rock 5. Firing a full salvo. You are destroyed. Can't go down. Nice, nice, nice. Standing so, by. as I was saying, the scout okay. is a thing that I want to check out. And I want to see if I can go in with my Batul Amur. There might be a chance that the Saladin is now coming in. Yes. Yeah, Fang, whatever. Just scoot around a bit. Just generate some evasion. Be safe. I want to give this Inner Sphere squad another... Battle Armor squad another chance. Good. Okay, good, good, good. Alright. Uh, he's turn 10, which is fine. I'll wait here for now. I'm wondering if I can go in and try to mount now. Savannah Master is running. Or if I have to stand right next to this guy. Uh, yep. I have the feeling I have to stand right next to him. So be it. Uh, again, one more chance until we go home. Uh, Alright. Again, the idea is to give him a turn, then move next to him, go for a precision strike and vigilance. And then uh, next round we might be able to go and mount again. It's a real difficult thing to pull off. So you can see I'm fiddling around with this a lot. You have to really get your elementals or your battle armor on a mech or a tank. The tank or mech moves to the front line and then they hop off and go for it. I don't think this is going to be a playstyle that I will play a lot. Since it feels really clunky right now. Uh, sure, I'm going to wait. Eric. Eric doesn't quite get to him. Which is unfortunate. Acknowledged. Maybe we're close enough anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go Vigilance and Brace. Thank you very much. Standing by. Expert. Copy that. Is doing nothing. <sighs> Nobody's doing anything, literally. I want to push him. Commander. Where's my shove attack? Moving to position. Do nothing. It's fine. Waiting on you, Commander. Rafa, do nothing. All right. Again, this is, what is it one more turn. I bring you over here again. In motion, Commander. In motion, Commander. Let's do this. And I also bring a mech next to my friends. All right. Eric. What are your orders? Your turn. Mount. Select target. This one. No? This one? No? This one? Yes! 61%! Here we go! Failure. Swarm attack. Failure. There it is. Alright, so we at the very least have a little bit of confirmation. But I think now it is time to actually finish the fight and go home. With our heads hanging because it didn't work as it did. Uh. Well then, it was still fun. Alpha strike engaged. Yeah, this is where we're gonna finish now. Ready to get um, it on. sure. Eggy. Go from the same side. I get you. On the move. I could have also gone in his in his back, I think. But this is fine. Okay. This is Savannah is just going crazy <laughs> on the scenic route. Goodbye, mister. You. Goodbye. Uh no. Oh yes, I can do back strikes. Uh, let me check this out. Actually, uh, I mean, now I'm here. Might as well. Alright, it's guided ammo. It's tiny bits of damage against my commando. But yeah, we got the Oscout scout stressed, which is nice. Saladin, uh oh. <laughs> oh, obliterated. Yeah, that's what I figured. We have figured out. Mission. 
how to mount enemy mechs. It didn't succeed yet because we had a pretty bad hit chance. 61% only. That, that was just not enough. And I think it goes higher when you have better piloting. But we didn't see it in action. And we couldn't mount our own vehicles, which is weird. Here we go. The question is, what do we take now? There is a full striker. Oh, there was a full striker. It's not the best tank in the world. It's also not worth that much. I don't know if I even want to bother. I like the exchanger. That's a good thing. I like... Still endosteel and ferrofibrous. Although I should probably just pick the clan stuff. And then there's a 210 rated engine. That's not bad at all. And a 155. It's also not bad at all. I'll take the... I'll take the 210 because I currently don't know if I have anything for the Hunchback. And this is a decent one. So let's go with this. Double fire starter, triple mongoose, one Oscout, scout, one striker part, LRM10, medium pulse, small pulse. Uh, probably drop those. C3I. Probably drop this as well. We've got an IC engine. we got basic sensor, single heat sink cooling, and a standard fusion engine. It gives us actually a good chunk of money. And I would say... That has been it for today, everybody. The first battle armor test was kind of a fail, but I will not stop trying. I'm going to read up on this. Please, again, leave a comment down below if you haven't already regarding how to use it, where to click, and, and what to look at, because I obviously didn't see anything. Maybe I was just blind, but anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a rating, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.